I'm here today at Akuma Partners in Think. I'm gonna be talking with Wade Anderson. He's a product specialist sales manager with Akuma. And we're going to be talking about how our partnership, Mastercam and Akuma, really helps the end user. The Akuma Partners in Think facility is really here for you guys. It's for all of our partner companies to help develop solutions for the end users. You know, we're down here in North Carolina, but we kind of use this collaboration and it affects customers all across North America and even across the world in many Absolutely. cases. It's a three-way street. You know, we could, we could look at it from Akuma's perspective. It's important for us to have Mastercam here because we need to have partners that can run our equipment to the best of its capability. But for the end user, it's important to know that what he's getting has got proven technology behind it. So we want to be the best machine tool company out there. We want to partner with the best software companies out there. Any given part that you look at, you can name six or seven different companies that are involved to actually make that part. That's the that NASCAR wheel hub. Absolutely. Work beautiful piece, right? So it takes work holding, it takes cutting tools, it takes programming, it takes coolant, it takes a machine tool. You can quickly go through and rattle off a lot of different entities that has to come together to actually make that component. Yeah. When we did this, this was on one of your mill turn machines, mm -hmm. multitasking yeah, machines. So on the Multis, we've got to support that from post-processor side. A lot of that prove out happens here on the floor. Right. That's, that's not a simple machine, right? That's, <laughs> that's two lays and a five axis mill yep. all tied together yep. in one machine. Yep. So the beauty for us is knowing that when we partner with a company like Mastercam, we do all this development, all this prove out right here on the floor, we know with 100% certainty when it hits that customer's floor that everything is going to work when it gets yeah. there. Well, I see the showroom out there. You want to walk Absolutely. me through some of the machines? Let's go yet? take a look. All right, awesome. So this is a, a nice little machine here. We call it our bread and butter machine, yep. right? So our LB3000. I've seen, seen a ton of these out there. Yeah. Right? Okuma is really known for their turning centers. Yep. And the very first chip I ever cut in my life is on an LB15. So this is the latest generation, basically, yep. of that model. So Akuma's definitely known for their turning centers, but that's not all you do, right? No, absolutely not. In fact, 51% of our business today is actually in milling. So this is our core, the 4020 size machine is the largest volume machine in North America. The Genos M560 is our highest volume vertical mill. You know, I see this machine, the M560, we're very familiar with it because we have one in our lab back at the office. So yeah. we use this all the time. We've got a Lindex Nikon 5 axis on it and we're able to leverage you know, the call 088 command, the TCP. These machines in North America come standard with five axis capable controls so we can do full five axis contouring. There's not much that you can't do on this machine. Let's head over to the project we're really working on over here. So Jesse, this is the machine that we're doing the BattleBot components on. Yeah, so this is the weapon blade. The weapon blade, yeah, I love the sound of that. Yeah. So very cool high speed aluminum machining process. But this machine is really designed to handle almost any application. We do a lot of these in the aerospace market to structural type components all the way down to aluminum die mold type applications. So you're covering both that high speed and that heavy duty hogging roughing Absolutely. applications. We have a lot of different spindle options ranging from Cat 50 Big Plus to higher speed Cat 40 Big Plus type options. So yeah, we cover a broad range of spectrums with this machine. All of our mass stays constant. So our throat depth, the, the distance of the center line of our spindle to the mounting point stays the same. So none of that changes and that really allows us to tune this machine dynamically depending on the type of work that's being done. And talk about tuning, you guys aren't taking a, you know, a third party controller and bolting it to a piece of iron that you already have. It's all, it's right. gotta be integrated, right? Part of our DNA. Yeah. Aichi Okuma founded the company making noodle making machines of all things back in 1898. And what he found was the roller dies that he was producing, the equipment that was available to roll them wasn't good enough quality. So he started producing the cutting tools to make the gears and the pulleys and the structure for his noodle making machines. And from 1898, all these years later, the, the chip cutting side yeah. is what really stuck. And that's and what we know today. Customers right. are seeing the benefit of that mentality, yep. really. Because of that kind of vertical integration, we control the design and engineering development of the OSP P series control, the motors, the drives, the servo, the iron, all of the, the heartbeat of the machine tool. So we feel like we make a better tuned product than anybody else on the market because we control our acceleration, deceleration rates better because we know the, the type of motor that's needed to drive this. We designed that motor. We're not trying to take something out of a catalog and marry it to get the best fit. If we know it needs a certain amperage and a certain horsepower, we designed that motor specifically for that application. Excellent. With this part, right, it's a, it's a bigger size part. Right. We're making it out of aluminum. We're using the Mitsubishi die edge tooling. 
We're not limited by the tool. We're really limited by how fast we can go. And we've got the dynamic tool pass programmed on here, so it's a nice smooth entry and exit of the cut. But how fast can this machine actually go? We can go feeding? close to 2,000 inches a minute. Wow. So, yeah. and, and we can feed up to rapid yeah, travel rates. That's crazy. So, yeah, it's, that's crazy. It's pretty cool. So we can really peel some material off. Absolutely. It shows the capability of the software, capability of the machine. And I think it's really a testament to how well Akuma and Mastercam work together. Right. It's so all the partners coming together in one showpiece. Yeah, and the customer benefits. Absolutely.